guys, we're back at it again with a little trainer tip for you guys today. So this is the number one thing that I see with clients, with people that I see at any gym I've ever gone to. We're gonna be talking about range of motion, uh, what range of motion is, what you should be at, when it's important to you know let the ego go and scale down. Uh, we're gonna use a couple different exercises as examples to paint a picture for you guys. But a lot of the times people will sacrifice their range of motion or their form to push a little bit more weight. So we're gonna talk about the importance of doing the opposite of that and slowly scaling up, adding weight as you go, and keeping that same full range of motion, getting the entire movement uh, through whatever muscle group you're, you're doing, so. Yeah, so sometimes it's exciting to have a lot of weight on the bar or whatever exercise you're trying to do, but it's better if you scale back a little bit and practice that range of motion with fewer weight so you can get that perfected. So let me show you what um, we see a lot of people doing. I don't have weight here, but just think of me having a lot of weight. So a lot of people just try to set up and push that weight. It's not just moving the weight from A to B, it's actually feeling that range of motion. So first things first, it's good range of motion. Let me show you what bad range of motion is. So a lot of people just go here, put on a lot of weight, and they sacrifice their form because they know if they go down here, they'll get stuck. So a lot of people will just half-ass it. Like I said, it's good to scale it back a little bit, take some weight off and practice that range of motion before you start putting a lot of weight on it, right? So you want to make sure that range of motion is clean and then you start adding weight little by little. So right here he's able to get a full stretch throughout his chest. At the top, he's able to squeeze his chest, engage his triceps, and get the full movement oh, using weird. every part that he wants to. So this is an example of a bench press. Let me show you an example of a push-up. That's something that everybody does, and I see it messed up all the time. Everybody wants to do push-ups on their toes. That's great, that's a great goal to have. However, if you stay on your toes and your push-ups start to look like this, we're not really getting much out of movement, which means we're not strengthening that movement. Now we drop to the knees, keeping those hands underneath those shoulders still so that we're working that chest, and we go all the way down and get our chest down to the ground. Full range of motion all the way up. If we practice here, get a few more reps here, then eventually we'll be able to go up on our toes and get that full range of motion there. However, long term, if you focus on just staying on your toes and you're still kind of doing those half ones, it's gonna take you a lot longer to get those full push-ups. So as much as you want to do it that first time, you gotta let the ego go, start off somewhere, and then go for it. 